nutrition specifically, um, I mean, it's always played an important role in, into your competition days as well. What's, what's sort of the advice that you would give about eating to compete uh, in a day-to-day -day training setting uh, that you would like to share with some of the audience? Uh, and what's your philosophy behind it? You know, I didn't, I didn't, I never did anything really extreme with my diet. I think eating an extreme diet is just like training extreme. You know, it's, it's not sustainable and maybe you'll gain some benefit in the short term, but in the long term, uh, nothing extreme is necessarily good for a human. Um, one of the things that I did eventually partway, about halfway through my career, actually in 1989, uh, that first year that I won Hawaii, was I really pretty much cut out sugar. Like I saw that, you know, I was, I could, I could eat anything and I never gained weight, you know, cause I was training so hard. But then I saw that um, all of those empty calories that don't have nutrients in them were just filling me up, but they weren't helping me with recovery. And so once I did that, then I, um, then I saw that, you know, my body was actually very smart at telling me okay, without the sugar, then you have, uh, you're, you're able to sense when you need more protein, when you need more good oils, when you need more, maybe more uh, complex carbohydrates in your diet, when you need to drink more water because you're dehydrated. And all of those subtle cues of how to eat really healthy and take care of my body were being masked by sugar. You know, you have, you have a bunch of chocolate chip cookies it dulls those other senses that are really fine tuned. And so that's, that, that was one of the main differences that I made. And then I also was really attentive to um, on a day to day basis, just making sure I got enough good quality protein so that my muscles could regenerate. Um, I didn't overdo it, but I definitely was paying attention to it. And then I was also really good with getting in good oils, a lot of avocado, a lot of nuts, a lot of olive oil. Um, and just, having food that was high nutrient density, you know, so a lot of stuff in a package, if it's in a box or a can or, a, you know, it's, it, it's probably has stuff added that is not natural that your body's having to process and, and probably get rid of as opposed to absorb. A lot of the nutrients may have been removed through the process of whatever they have to do to refine things, you know, so it's just, it's common sense stuff, you know, um, when you're actually training, then it doesn't really matter so much if you're having stuff that has sugar in it because your body is absorbing it as quickly. It, it, your body's using the sugar as quickly as you can absorb it basically. And so, you know, obviously if you have a sport drink that has sucrose or glucose or whatever in it, if, if you're out there training, you're going to be burning that as quickly as you get it in. So you don't ever really get that insulin spike that you can get if you just sat around and had chocolate chip cookies like I did. Um, but yeah, just basic stuff, you know. I coach athletes all over the world, only age groupers. I love age group athletes. MarkAllenCoaching.com. All of my training is online. It has all of the all of the knowledge that I've gained in almost 40 years in the sport and over 25 years of coaching athletes all over the world, athletes of all ability levels, ages, target race distances. I love it. There's a lot of interaction. I am your coach at markallencoaching.com. You don't get shuttled off to uh, somebody else. You have interaction with me. Hope to see you on there, markallencoaching.com. And there's a special for you guys only. You can get the first month for $1. The discount code is first month one. First month one. Just for you. MarkAllenCoaching.com. <laughs>